Okay, let's go to the lower tier now. Talk about the Nigeria National League. That's one also getting interesting. At the same way, you are following those teams that might drop. You saw Wiki, you saw ABS, you saw Remo. Uh, Remo came from this league, mm. you know. So look at the teams on top of the table of the NNL now. Those are the teams. You will be welcoming to the Nigeria Professional Football League. And for the Southern Conference, uh, they are playing, uh, they played week 27. Let's take a look at the results. The Kurodu United defeated Warrior Wolves 2-0. Uh, someone says it's very good for their fight to stay uh, right there in the NNL. Heartland, they are cruising away. They defeated my people FC 2-1. Uh, it looks like it's done and dusted for them to actually uh, gain promotion. They dropped last year. Uh, they're bouncing back right away. Go round two, Oshun United zero, First Bank two, Abia Comments zero, Bendel Insurance and Beosa United share the spoils in a goalless draw. Delta Force defeated Aqua Starlet 2 0, Crown FC 1, AS Racine uh, 0, and anyway, we got the better of Unisem Rovers by a single goal. Gateway United and Papilo, Gateway winning that one 2 1. But I'm interested in the table in your ball. Let's quickly talk about uh, what's going on in that table. On 55 points is Atlant go round uh, 47. Look at Bayosa 47 also. Look at Crown 46. Look at Delta Force. 46. Ha. It, it, it's very interesting, and we, I, I think congratulations are in place already for, for Heartland the FC. They're, they're, mm. they're coming back to the, the NPFL straight away from the NNL, and it, it's great to see that there are more way wins in the NNL than the, 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 there is in the, in the NPFL, because Heartland have won five away games mm. in the southern region, and in the northern conference, Quarry United have won four away games, and, and that's really commendable. It's really great to see Car Hardland go around FC, and um, we'll have Bielsa United, Crown FC, and Delta Force to come. Mm. To, it's a fight. To, it's a massive fight. It's, it's a, a fight. huge, huge mm. fight, and it will be with, with the with the number of ga with the games remaining. You're, you're hoping that you can get a couple of points on the road, and that might just be the, um, the reason you'll be playing with the with the big boys next mm. season. And people are asking, how does it work? So two from the Southern Conference, and two. we gain promotion. Two from the Northern Conference, we gain promotion. Three from both conferences, we will drop mm. uh, to uh, the lower the lower league. So let's just take a look at the Northern Conference. They played week 23. Uh, let's see the results. Kaduna United defeated Yobe Desert Stars. Uh, they lost, actually. Kaduna United lost at home to Yobe Desert Stars. Uh, three two. Jigawa Golden Stars two. Kogi United uh, zero. FRSC defeated Mighty Jets one zero. Taraba FC two. Adamawa zero. Zanfara two. Sokoto United one. So you see, it, it's looking interesting. And this is a league where when we're struggling, looking for away victories in the MPFL, they were giving us away victories. It's great, great, great to see us. And absolutely great to see. Quarantine, the dream will You'll be desert stars are also a, a real, real battle. Consolidated their place. Jigawa the Golden Stars mm. also in, in the fight to, to follow Yobe Desert Stars into the MPFL. Very mm. interesting mm. matchups and looks like the final weeks of the season will be very, very instrumental to right. the teams. Whatever you can do, picking points home and away will be very instrumental to playing in the MPFL next season. That's what it is. So there you go. Uh, the, Nigeria, the Nigeria National League uh, will showing you the major guys and the guys that are actually struggling. The table uh, says it all. Hotland and go around are doing so well at the Southern Conference. But at that Southern Conference, anything can still happen. But for Quara United and Hotland, they're just chilling guys. Mm. They're dusting at the dust of their shoulders and, and trying to say how they the can champagne, get The kids. champagne is already it's on ice. chilling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> see how they can get into the MPFL. We love what's going on with mm. football in the country and we just hope that uh, we'll sustain the momentum. Let's quickly talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Let's up this segment. Talk about the big boys mm. camp open today. Uh, in your bond, do you have, have, have heard all sorts on social media uh, because of what happened against South Africa? But do you have any worries for this match between Nigeria and Cameroon? In all honesty, I shouldn't have any worry. And um, you're playing against the indomitable Lions of Cameroon. They're still building. It is, it's a good side you're going to play. The African, champions. African champions. The right. African champions, obviously. Uh -huh. But when you have people like John Mikel will be coming to your side. You, you have a bit of experience. You have a bit of exposure. You have a, a bit of um, steadying of the ship. And I feel John Michelobi would really 
make this side a better side than the side that played against South Africa. But having said that, you also want to think there's not enough pace up front. I would have wanted Olarowa Jokaide in that side because he brings a dimension. He's got real energy, can run channels. He can really be a handful for defenders. Um, that's not saying that the players who have been invited will not really contribute mm. their bit mm. because it's, it's, it's a star-studded side. I and know. It's a star-studded side. And mm. Gennard Ross got his work cut out. He's got, he's got to find the, the right resource and the right mentality and the right methods to go into that game and hoping that the players would be able to apply themselves yeah. and win this game. Because, like you said, if we pick up all three points in this one and pick up a point in Yaoundé, it's his game set and match. That's what it is. But in Elbon, do you have uh, you, uh, Alex Iwobi mm. is As injured? And then Aaron Salmon has been called up. On social media, a lot of people, uh, football fans are saying this guy has the intelligence that can turn things around for the Super Eagles, is he going to be missed? Hey, he will surely be missed because he's a very good footballer. He's got football brains, great creativity with the ball. When he gets on the ball, you, you have a sense that he wants to create something. He wants to do something with the ball. And I feel that every time he plays, and he's played in the right position because the last time he was farmed out to the left instead of playing in that central role mm. where he likes to affect games more. You know. I think he's a very creative player and yeah. he will surely be missed, but I'm sure Kenneth Rowan knows what to do. He's a very um, astute manager. He knows what to do. He'll bring in someone who will be able to replace it. Will be. It's not about individuals, really. It's about going to the football field and doing the job. It's not about who is missing and who is not missing. Football is not about one player. It's about a whole team. And if the team comes together with the right mentality and with the right um, 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 metal with mm. them, the, 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 it would be very easy for them to win this I one. So you could just take your confidence. Mm. This, the way you're sounding. The way you sounded this way <laughs> for South Africa. Don't laugh in your bong. We're on live TV because this is serious business. Yes. What is your take up, um, with uh, Odion Hialo coming back to the team? Odion Hialo. Uh, Good footballer, um, hasn't really done it for me in the national team. Every time he gets, he's not really shown that quality. Even when he was scoring goals at Watford, mm. he was struggling with the national team. And it, it gets to show that there are players who do well for their clubs, who don't do well for the nation. It's not, it's not for the want of trying. It's not for the lack of effort. It doesn't just work for them. Remember Mario Jadel in those days? Mm. Brazil couldn't get him to the national team. He was banging goals in Europe. So... It, it, it doesn't really cut it for me in the national team of Dionne Galabo. He's a good footballer, yeah. and, I, and I think he will give his 120% when he gets a chance. In your book, I must say thank you so much for coming around. Always a pleasure. What I'll keep is this confidence that you use <laughs> to talk about the Super Eagles. That I say. In your book, I gave me that confidence. I'll beat Cameroon. Always a delight, bro. Thanks. So that's it. So taking a look at all that is going down in your world of sports. We'll go on this quick break. When we come back, our uh, Commonwealth uh, Games champion, our uh, gold medalist, Odwanya Adekuriye, should be seated here. The president of Nigeria Wrestling Federation will also be able to talk about wrestling in Nigeria. Don't go anywhere. Stay.